Hey folks, Bo English Richling here. I'm really excited to share with you a new demo that we have called AI for Healthcare. And if you're thinking AI and it's conjuring up images of Skynet from Terminator or Vicky from iRobot, it is nothing to do with any of those things. We're gonna show you how you can take Oracle products and services and create a very cool demo to detect cancer from x-rays that you upload into the system. So let's take a peek. AI is a natural progression for coding. It's incredibly beneficial when it comes to advancements in healthcare. And working at Oracle, it gives us the ability to use our technology for good. Madhu Rao, a principal product manager at Oracle, built this application called AI for Healthcare in less than one month, where you can upload x-ray images to detect that probability of cancer. This is the current landing page with 3D models of many different types of cancers. Clicking play allows a 360 degree view of lung, stomach cancer, kidney cancer, and more. The front end's built on Apex. The back end is powered by Oracle's autonomous database. And currently, the AI for Healthcare app detects breast and lung cancers. But the model can be trained to detect other types of cancers too. On the image analysis tab, you can upload an image of a breast x-ray. The app will process that image, compare against the trained model loaded into Oracle Cloud Infrastructure or OCI, and it provides a percentage or probability of breast cancer. It uses OCI's vision to detect anomalies in tissues that are obviously indicators of cancer, and it will give you a probability score of either cancer or normal tissue that's present in that image. The left side gives you a probability score of 97%. The right side will give you a probability score of 3%. And to the right of that shows the x-ray image of the breast tissue. Scrolling down a bit further, clicking on the breast cancer 3D model link shows a 3D image and details about breast cancer. Clicking the play button loads the 3D model so you can view it from any angle. In the medical documents tab, we also have a document reader using OCI's document understanding that scans a document, extracts the text, and loads them into your database tables as well as other key data from document files through APIs and command line interface tools to be displayed in the app. You can even create an expense report from the receipt by clicking that Create Expense button. In case hearing or seeing is a challenge, we also have a medical transcription feature in the AI for Healthcare app that will allow you to record speech or upload a WAV file to convert to text. So select the file and hit Process Speech or you can see one of the ones we've already included. You can also play this file or you can send it in an email. If you don't have a file that you can upload, you can also record in the browser and choose that file to upload and process. We've also integrated a chatbot feature so you can ask our chatbot, affectionately known as Dr. Artie, pretty much anything. Oracle Digital Assistant powers Dr. Artie who's constantly learning. So you can ask Dr. Artie a question using your voice if you don't wanna type. We've also integrated with ChatGPT's OpenAI API, and you can ask a question of OpenAI, such as what is breast cancer? Obviously I can't spell. Click Ask AI, and it will respond back with a response to your input question. Using Oracle Spatial, We've also added a map feature that displays the cities with hospitals as well as their specializations. So you can find a hospital near you with specializations.
In this case, we're gonna select Austin and breast cancer, and it's gonna show you the top five hospitals nearby. On the reasons for death tab, you can select the year, which will give you by country, the trending deaths and counts by the, the actual disease. In the analytics tab, we've also given you an integration with Oracle Analytics Cloud to give you open cancer research, peptide research, and other types of research in dashboards so that you can see counts of records, seasonality by month, even overviews, and upper and lower bounds. And clicking on the bar charts themselves will give you additional detailed information about each one. In the administration tab, we've also put in configurations that you can manage, data, and the manage expenses tab where you can actually take a look at expense reports that you've created. In the architecture tab, we display the full architecture that's used in this demo app. Over the coming weeks, we'll show you how to build each module in your own environment. The first workshop is now live and scan the QR code or link in the description below to get started. And follow me in the links below so you can get updated every time a new workshop and lab is live.